Yo, Sanjo Che here, people, giving you my review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 115, Goku vs. Keifla, Super Saiyan Blue defeated. As per usual, be sure to rate, comment, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell as well to get notifications for whenever I upload. But, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, 115 was surprisingly solid, honestly, it's a pretty solid episode, and it kind of surprised me, especially with all the the problems leading up to it, especially surrounding the characters Khalifa, Kale, and their resulting fusion, Kefla. So, <laughs> like a lot of people I know um, were preparing to rant on this episode, so <laughs> for there not to be much, if any, rants at all, then that must say something. So we get the fight between Goku and Kefla continuing in this episode. And I'm not gonna lie, the, the, the flow of this episode works pretty well because throughout the fight with Goku and Kefla, we get um, a bit of a tease with the Vegeta and Topo fight, the Gohan and Piccolo, well, Gohan and Piccolo versus the Universe 6 Namekians fight. We have 17 and 18 there, a bit of Frieza. And honestly, that actually helps to break up the whole focus on Goku and Kefla. Um, basically the Saiyans, which I know a lot of people will like and respect, myself included, because obviously this is still a battle royale at the end of the day, so <laughs> there is that. It helps to make the, the, the whole setting feel more dynamic and realistic um, based on the, the rules, the, the nature of this tournament, so that definitely helped to build the episode for me. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there was heavy emphasis on Goku's current stamina issues in this episode, which I kind of felt the previous episodes were lacking, honestly speaking. So them highlighting it multiple times throughout this episode really helped to hammer it home. Um, I definitely like that because the execution so far uh, in terms of portraying Goku's whole stamina issues have been, have been a bit iffy to say the least. Um, Definitely, I definitely like the fight between Goku and Kefla, especially as the musical selection that they had during the fight. They played the whole, they played a version of the, I don't know the name of the track, but the track they played when Goku first went Ultra Instinct against Jiren. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, the fight choreography wasn't too bad. Um, I kind of preferred the choreography last week, but this episode, the choreography in this episode, how the fight actually flowed, it wasn't bad. Um, uh, honestly, and I think the elephant in the room, <laughs> to tell you the truth, is definitely the power scaling. I know a lot of people are going to be making videos on it, but if... I should point out that I actually did a power scale video on Kefla earlier today. Well, it's basically Sunday now, my time. But yeah, earlier today on Saturday, essentially. Um... And based on how this episode went, it kind of does seem like they're painting Master Berserk Kefla as a bit weaker than if Goku was healthy and using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. So there's that. Which I'm going to reserve judgment until episode 116 airs, actually. Because. I was thinking of just revising that power skill video I did, but it doesn't make sense until 116 airs, especially since it seems k will be powering up a bit more. So there's that. Um, I think the main problem I have with the episode, even though um, it's kind of reflective in their character, is the continual or the continuing of the, the the loosening of the rules as beerus actually points out in this episode that potara would be cheating but because it's cool as everybody has been saying because it's cool the xenos will allow it and it kind of works with their childlike nature as characters but yeah <laughs> it, it, they might as well just make everything go at this point honestly it's, uh, I wouldn't even say a nitpick, it is a negative against the episode, I'd say. But mainly, probably the only negative. Um, I have mentioned in previous videos that I do believe Kefla's power at this point, her fighting against God Goku, even though he's weakened in her base state, was a bit of bullshit. 
but we can't do anything about that and it is what it is um power scaling wise she is as strong as super saiyan god goku in her base um apparently even though he's weakened i do predict even if he was healthy she would be even with him and if you i guess make any educated guess about the multiplayer like i did in my power skill video um goku using up to kaioken well we don't know the multiplier that he used in this episode but it does seem as if it, it does seem fair to assume it would be a times 20. um but apart from that i thought the animation was pretty good the art was pretty solid not to the degree of last week's episode though <laughs> honestly because that episode was off the charts when it came to art and the animation so there was that um i, I dare say 114 may have been a bit better than the, the one hour special in terms of art in the sense that we got more consistently throughout than the one hour special but there's that um of course towards the end of this Kefla actually managed to get a heavy blow on Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, which I assume times 20 Goku, and we see him reawaken with Ultra Instinct. Um, <sighs> honestly, I'm. <sighs> Whis mentions that he's broken his shell again, and it kind of seems that Goku really has to be pushed to his limits to actually reawaken it. I'm still hoping we'll be get a more in-depth explanation. It's super, so we probably won't, but I'm still hoping we get something more as time goes on. Obviously, Goku himself is figuring this thing out as well and why this is happening to him, I guess, as time goes on. So we can only hope as it goes. So overall, I thought the episode was pretty solid, <laughs> like surprisingly. And it kind of brought me joy to see that my power scale video is kind of holding up. Um, be sure to check that out. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty, I don't really have much things to complain about with this episode. Um, but I'll be looking back on this episode from a power scale standpoint based on how it goes. Because honestly, based on my power scale... Kefla shouldn't have really had any problem with Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku in this episode. Granted, um, she did basically one-shot him, <laughs> even though Goku was able to do damage um, to her in that state as well, so there's that. So, going off this episode alone, if you do go on to watch my power skill video on Kefla, I may have to reduce Kefla's base to like between a 6 to a 9. Because it is implied, based on this episode alone, that a healthy Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku would actually beat Kefla. But based on the preview for 116, it does seem like she'll be powering up a bit more. So if she does really and truly power up more, my power scale may, in fact, hold true. But... Without without a shadow of, of a doubt, Kefla in our Master Super Saiyan Berserk is stronger than a regular Super Saiyan Blue Goku at this point. Even if Goku's weakened to like say a 10% of his power, if he does a times 20 Kaioken, he would obviously would be more powerful than if he was a healthy base Super Saiyan Blue. But all in all, pretty solid episode, pretty dynamic. Love the inclusion of the other characters that we've been dying to see. Um getting goku less screen time in this episode giving them some screen time even though short definitely added to the episode for me um of course the loosening of the rules is also a thing that strikes back the episode um well then yeah, everybody predicted that as i said um the fight was pretty decent and things just kind of worked i mean is that uh, we have no choice but to accept that kefla is this powerful and honestly based on scaling of Kale and Khalifa, as I would have mentioned in my power scale video, it does seem like this episode does add up and make sense. But let me know what you thought. Sanjay with Chia, rate, comment, subscribe as usual, hit that bell, and I shall see you in further discussion and videos and raggle fraggle. See you in the next one, people.